Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Jin and welcome back guys to a brand new video on the channel. For today, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a look at this absolutely beautiful Porsche 911 997 GT2. Man, this thing looks absolutely wild and uh, I'm really excited for this, man. Good old flat 6 motor all the way back from 2008, man. This thing definitely does not look its age man i mean i know what it is about it it could just be all the gt add-ons but um it looks absolutely wild man this is actually personally one of my favorite generation of gt cars and uh with all of that being said guys if you haven't yet be sure to drop a like subscribe if you're about this life and let's hop into this gt2 rs <laughs> It sounds pretty damn nice, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, bro, I love the old school interior as well too. I mean, this is something uh, so freaking iconic about the Porsche interior, man. It looks so freaking good. For today, we are rocking Pinwheel as the track of choice. And I figured it would only be fitting because, I mean, we are driving a Porsche after all. So, I figured we'd throw her on a nice little racetrack just to see what you got man this is one a hell of a nice mod as well too and i'm excited bro i definitely am i mean it's been a while since i've rubbed a good old rear engine vehicle on a racetrack and this is gonna be a freaking awesome dude obviously we do have to warm up the tires just a little bit so that they can start rubbing a bit more but god it Day of this thing pulls are like an absolute rock chip and I did not see that corner coming up. Oh my god, okay. And that would have been a really expensive crash right there. Let's actually head on over to third person. Oh bro, this thing looks so weird in the rear. Oh my god, man. Good old Porsche GT2. I keep on wanting to say RS at the end, but... Yeah, bro. It's just, it's epic. And this track as well too, man. I mean, if you guys haven't downloaded Pinwheel or Racy Partner as yet, I highly recommend, especially if you're into like the whole track racing, not really the open world kind of thing. This is a really awesome map, man, in case you guys are wanting to pick up a new track. It's crazy because we have a little bit of this here and then if you get onto the gas a bit too fast we have a lot of over steer. It's fun dude, it definitely feels like an old school 2000s sports car, which I like a lot. Look at that man, we are sliding this entire corner out. It's rear engine so I don't want to kick it out way too much but you can definitely get sideways if you want to. Nice little straightaway. Uh, bro, if we come from 2008, this thing absolutely rips. Oh my god. Bro, this thing is wild, man. I'm gonna stop breaking just a bit early. Okay, maybe a bit too late. Oh my god. Okay, we'll pull out of the old style. Mind you, I haven't rocked this track in quite a while, so. That's probably the reason for the whole running off track in every corner. But jeez, dude, this is a one hell of a vehicle. Oh my god. Let's try out some hood view for right now. Bro, I love these flat sixes, man. I mean, they just they have such a nice power band about them. It's like. It's not crazy power at any point, but there's no lack of power at any point as well too. It's just a really smooth build up and it's great man. We actually did make this corner, which I'm happy about. Oh bro, I can feel all that weight on the rear and it just wants to kick out so badly. But obviously we are trying to Try to be a bit more tame, I mean it is a track day. 
we definitely can't get a bit sideways where we want to. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this thing is wild, bro. If you guys ever checked out this mod? Um, it's pretty old, so I'm pretty sure if you just look out 997 GT2 on a race department, you will be able to pick this exact mod up or something similar, but... Dude, I highly recommend you do so because this is one hell of a car to rip around one hell of a damn track. Ah, oh, dude, it is a so freaking planted. Like, I'm sure with a little bit of tuning, you probably can get it to stop understeering as much as it does. Imagine it's not understeering a hell of a lot, it's just. Kind of hey, you know, it just it kind of exists. But jeez, man, this is one hell of a vehicle, dude. Oh my god, 997 GT2. Let me know your thoughts down below, bro. Like I said, this is personally one of my favorite generation of 911, and uh, for good reason, man. Did we overcook that again? Oh my god, bro, what? Let's do a nice little burnout in this thing, see what she got. Okay, I mean, pretty grippy. And then, this is a rocket ship, bro. As soon as you get on the gas, you are absolutely gone. I know a lot of, of modern vehicles, modern sports cars and that, because you can probably rub that entire section flat out. But that's not what this is, man. This is simply just an old school Porsche. It handles are really well. Obviously, it's not gonna give you the fastest lap times. It's not gonna be the best handling car out there, but it's definitely an awesome vehicle, bro. And it just takes you back to when cars were just simply cars. I mean, there was no extra changing the sound of the engine and being able to talk to people off like a freaking intercom kind of like what Tesla has in their cars these days bro I don't know if you guys seen that you can actually there's a microphone in the cabin that you can use to speak to people outside bro I mean I don't I don't know why you would want that in a vehicle but uh this is just the nature we love it man it's it actually kind of sucks if I'm being honest but it is what it is, but at least we have these old school vehicles to remind us about the good old days of automotive history. But, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is going to be the for today in this Porsche. Let me know your thoughts down below. 997 GT2. And uh, I know not a lot of people agree with me saying that this is one of the best generation of Porsche, but. I don't know bro, it's just, it's simple, it's tame, I like it. So with all of that being said guys, I'll see you guys back here on Wednesday with a brand new video on the channel. I'm out. Peace.